We now have a stunning look at the new book showcasing our nation from sea to shining sea, America the Beautiful, a story in photographs from National Geographic. Their editor-in-chief, Susan Goldberg, is back with us. She's joining us live to talk all about it. It is so good. It's been too long since we last saw each other. But Robin. Good to see you looking so well. Thank you, Robin. So nice to be with you. I, you know what I've often told you and have said, National Geographic, the archives that you all have, three centuries of photographs. So Susan, why did you decide to put together this beautiful book now? Well, we knew when we were publishing a book coming out in the fall of 2020, it was going to be a divisive time because of the election. Mm. But of course, we couldn't have anticipated the pandemic going on, you know, or the difficult but necessary conversation going on around racial reckoning. So we wanted to put out a book that would remind people about why we love the country so much. And I think just paging through the paging through this book makes it feel like you're taking a drive across the country. And speaking of that, the book takes its inspiration, of course, from the poem turned song, America the Beautiful. And it gives a, a, a little background on the woman who wrote it and, and how she was inspired. You know, I love this backstory of America the Beautiful. It's written in 1893 by Catherine Lee Bates, who was a young professor at Wellesley College, and she took a train trip across the country. So when she's writing about, you know, for beautiful, for spacious skies, she's really looking out the window of that train. She's writing about for amber waves of grain. That was when she first saw Kansas, and for purple mountain majesty, when she sees the Rocky Mountains. But she also writes about problems in the country. She talks mm. about thine alabaster city's gleam, undimmed by human tears. So, you know, there were problems then, there are problems now, but it's right. such a patriotic, fascinating poem about what she saw on her trip across it America. It really was. I thought you were going to sing it for us. I thought I could get you to sing, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Next time. But can I just thank you, uh, because you had people write an ode to their beloved state, and you had me do one, and I was really privileged to do one for Mississippi, and I want to, I want to, I want to thank you for that, Susan. It's beautiful. Well, I, I love what you wrote, Robin, about the warmth of the people in Mississippi. If you're mm. new in town, people bring a bunt cake because that's what <laughs> they do. And just writing about how your family put down roots in Mississippi after your dad retired from the Air Force. I just thought it was lovely. And Mama started in, in Ohio, and you have somebody, um, the King, who wrote about Ohio beautifully, didn't he? Well, he did. We asked LeBron James to write about Ohio, and he talked about being a kid in Northeast Ohio and how in Ohio you have to earn what you've got. And no matter where he goes in the world, he's always going to be from Ohio. And I just thought, I've spent a lot of time in, in Northeast Ohio myself, and I just thought in just a few sentences, mm -hmm. he captured so much about that state. And what was written about Maine was beautiful as well, Susan. Well, Roxanne Quimby, who founded Burt's Bees, lives up in Maine, and she wrote that Maine was so great because it wasn't on the road to anywhere else. It just was what it was, and it kind of hangs tenuously off of the corner of mm. the or off the corner of the country. She just wrote about it being such a unique place. But we had people from all over the country writing about the places they love, and it reminds you of why you love where you're from and how many great places there are to be all over this country. Well put, Susan. Thank you so very much, and to the National Geographic family, we're always grateful. You take care. And we want to let people know America the Beautiful, a story in photographs, is available now wherever books are sold. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.